Hi, I'm Dan Cummins. I make podcasts about space lizards, serial killers, and horror movies. And this pile of stuff is my life's work. Yeah, might get weird. This is the microphone for basically all comedy clubs. This is the microphone that it was at the first comedy club I went to back in 2000 to an open mic. I was about a year out of college, didn't know what I wanted to do, and it was definitely a, ah, fuck it, let's just see how this goes. The pictures of gun disease? What, did I sign on for the Scared Straight program? I had a really quick rise for the first about five or six years. I got a spot on Comedy Central, I got a late night spot, then I got a half hour on Comedy Central the next year, then I got an hour special the year after that, and then critics liked it, I got great feedback, but the network didn't like it, and just like that, they were just done with me. And it was that first taste of like, oh wow, there's these gatekeepers. If they don't like you at that time, like, it just devastates your career. But it always went well enough for me to be able to keep doing it. And then I think, well, I should try a podcast. After I bought this little Zoom H4n, which is like the recorder for podcasts, I tried a couple that I didn't really put that much effort into, I guess. They only went 10 episodes or so. And then my real career low point was I wanted to get uh, on a podcast network so I could have some kind of advertising help. I had my manager at the time just try to get me a meeting with one of these networks. Could only get one meeting. And the person cared so little about me at the meeting, they forgot about the meeting. I showed up and they didn't know why I was there. And I think like, well, all right, this is like my Hail Mary. I'm gonna do everything myself. I'm gonna buy all the equipment and just do it myself from the kitchen table and see if people like it. And that podcast that I couldn't get anybody to take a meeting for, that was Time Suck, a podcast that has become one of the top comedy podcasts in the world now. We are doomed if whatever is out there in space discovers us. People just loved it in a way I honestly didn't expect. This community actually started to form around it online. People started to send in these weird gifts. One of my early favorites was this custom Time Suck Championship belt. The backstory on this belt, it says, what is big deal right here? And that is a quote from a made up version of a Russian serial killer named Andre Chikatilo that I turned into a fictional wrestler and uh, it became this catchphrase, what is big deal? I just love how like this is so weird. Weird to get a wrestling belt, extra weird to get a wrestling belt based on a joke about a serial killer and then customized to like podcast references. It's just so unique and I love it so much. About a year and a half into the show, I think, someone told me about Patreon and about having like subscriptions. I didn't even know about that. And so I conceptualized a companion show for Time Suck that people would get every week that would be this kind of clubhousey, like inner circle show for the diehard Time Suck listeners. And that became The Secret Suck. And people who listen to The Secret Suck and support us on Patreon were called Space Lizards. We used these masks in a stand-up special I did where I made some inside jokes about Space Lizards. And we had people in the audience wear these masks. Goddamn lizards! <laughs> What's so cool, these people have so much fun being in this clubhouse with us that they're willing to financially support us and allow us to take like the most creative chances. So thanks to the support of the Space Lizards, I felt like I could take more creative chances. And, and I didn't need anyone's approval other than the audience. One of the shots we took was Scared to Death, which is a horror podcast. I loved horror before I loved stand-up. Lindsay, my wife, had quit her job in real estate to start working behind the scenes, and I was like, what if we could do a show together? She gets really scared by horror movies, and so the concept was pretty simple. I tell the scariest stories I can think of to her, and if I can scare the shit out of her, it'll scare the audience and hopefully work. Three. Bang! Back at the bar, the partition slammed down, making it sound like a gun had gone off. The good news was it scared the audience too, and we built a whole nother show with a whole additional following, and it's been awesome. And this thing that got sent in for Scared to Death was made by somebody who makes props for horror movies. So how cool is that that we have a custom prop made for Scared to Death by somebody who does that for a living? So this is the gold standard mic of podcasting. This is the Shure SM7B. And I remember being so excited to get this. A bunch of other really successful podcasters were using this. I remember initially the price seemed so daunting. I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to pull the trigger on a $400 mic. And then thanks to fan support, was able to get one and started just reinvesting in the tech and the show. And now I think we have seven or eight of these. It's just so exciting to reinvest in what you love. And that's the thing for anybody 
you know, wanting to get into all this, if you're like, how do I get from not having any fan support to where you are now? The biggest thing is you have to pick something you really, really love. That's the big thing. Find what you really, really love and then work your ass off on that and your fans will feel that passion. Thanks to the success of Time Suck and Scared to Death, we launched a third show. It's called Is Me Dumb. It sounds like in this magical situation, you gotta drop your keys back in, you gotta start claw, claw machine all over again. Every time you leave your house. Now we get weird fan art, like this cornogram is we dumb. And what's interesting about this newest show is it's kind of come around full circle in a way where that's the show that's the closest to my stand-up. And the feedback's been amazing. So now we have our little three-headed snake here at Bad Magic Productions. It's all so weird and awesome and literally would not be possible without fan support. So thank you motherfuckers for making this work. From mics to cornograms to severed arms, this is my stand-up and podcasting career in objects. See you on the web space, lizards. Hail Nimrod. Hail Nimrod.